Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you another haul. Uh, I just got done doing my makeup. Hope y'all like it. <laughs> yeah, so I went to Ulta and I went to Sephora. So I figured we could just go over the stuff I went. I didn't get a bunch of stuff. But I still got a good amount of stuff. I spent quite a bit of chunk of change. I'm stabbing myself for it, but hey, whatever. I'm happy, so that's all that matters. Um, I'm going to start with the Becca Aqua Luminous 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 Lum <laughs> Luminous 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 Perfecting Foundation. And this isn't warm, honey. I'm not wearing it today. I'm just wearing foundation. I mean, just concealer today. This retails for $44. I have worn this like quite a few times and I love I love how I look afterwards let me show you guys a few pictures with this foundation um this is Friday so here's a photo really nice if I turn the brightness down I'd probably be able to see a little better um me one second I'll find you a better one this is a photo I took yesterday I don't know if you could tell but skin looks so good so I really do love this foundation all right um next from Sephora I got two of these. I got this Becca Prime Bronze and Glow Kit. It was with my $500 points reward. And I'm just going to show you guys what's in here real quick. It's all really miniature sized and really cute. I'm going to get this stuff out the way. So this is the... I'm pretty sure this is the under eye corrector. It doesn't have a smell. Then it came, it came with a bronzer, I believe, or maybe this is a highlighter. Yeah, this is a highlighter in Champagne Pop, which I don't own. I only own one Becca highlighter, and this is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. So hopefully, you know, it might be a little, I heard it was a little too light. So it might be a little too light for my skin tone. Um, and then it came with this bronzer and bronze bondy I can't even figure out how to freaking open it okay and this looks like this and this bronzer does have a little bit of shimmer in it and it is, is a bit on the light side so I might wind up just using this for like eyeshadow I might wind up using these for eyeshadow or just like if my friend wants me to do their makeup because sometimes my friends do want me to do their makeup and they are lighter than me so this stuff will work perfectly for them and it also came with this becca velvet blurring primer it's a perfecting base which i'm going to keep this one i'm definitely going to keep this one i'm probably going to keep this one and then like a bunch of my friends always want me to do their makeup so i might keep these just for like when i do my friends makeup or someone with just a different complexion than me so i'm really excited about this this is free 99 and then I didn't show you guys this last time I also got this was also $500 points it's the Dr. Bandit best skin ever it just comes with a bunch of little skin sets um, no more baggage so this is for your under it comes with an under eye gel it comes with a matte primer a age defying exfoliator and then a sleep mask so this is really good as well keeping that for myself I just haven't opened it yet because I have so much face stuff already that okay so then they also gave me this for free this clean perfect com complexion it's the it's by Clinique it's the Clinique moisture 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator which I am really excited about because this is the I actually have just the 72 hour moisture surge so I actually have I already have this one 
and it's running empty. And now that they gave me another one for free, I don't have to go and buy one because I'm not going to buy the big one. It's not going to fit in my storage. But it did come with this. And it also came with a brush, a buffing brush. Just like this, which will be really cool for when I'm traveling. I don't want to bring big old makeup brushes. So yeah, it came with that as well. Did it come with any other samples before we get to the makeup? And it also came with this it cosmetics bye bye under eye cream which i might start getting into under eyes under eye cream because it seems like your under eyes can dry <laughs> yeah all right now let's get back into the makeup of it all um i'm gonna be reaching everything over here this is where all my makeup is we have a makeup collection coming really really soon but, um, so I picked up this MAC Strobe Cream Hydrant in the shade Gold Light. I thought I got, I got a sample of this in Ipsy. It wasn't Gold Light. It was the pink one. But I still, looks like this. And this was, I don't even know how much it was. What did I do with all my receipts? I'm going to say this was like $34. I'm going to say, I'm going to type, I'm going to have all the prices and everything down below because I do not remember and I don't want to tell you wrong, but it was like $34, I believe, $32 or $34. Um, I haven't used it yet because I still have my mini deluxe sample that I'm using up, so. Um, okay, next I picked up the, this is from Sephora, that MAC one was from Ulta. I picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Power Duo. It's a brow duo. Um, it comes with the, my, the mini dip brow gel and a brow whiz. And I used the brow whiz and a brow dip gel today. And I kind of like it. But I kind of like my other pencil as well. I just have to get used to it, I guess. But, yeah, I do like this. And this was $25. I thought it was a good deal. Alright, next I picked up, I got a lot of minis from Sephora. This is from Sephora. It's the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Little, Little Bronze Duo. It comes with a mini bronze, it's a mini bronze set. Uh, it comes with a bronzer and a match stick. And I thought this would be perfect because I want to try the bronzers out. But, um, I want to buy a big one, so. Anyways, my batteries died, but I fixed that. I... I like getting these little samples because you can try them out. So I got this guy and I was saying I hope it matched. This is in Caramel Cutie. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. And also I'm excited, I'm more actually excited about these matchsticks. This highlighting matchstick. It's a mini one and this comes in the shade Cinnamon. And look at it, it's super pretty. Let's get a swatch. This will be perfect for the summer. I'm so happy I grabbed this. It's really nice in a subtle highlight. You can build it up, but I don't want to use too much of it. And this was $25 together. And so I really think that if you want to invest, like if you're not sure about it, definitely get the minis. Or even if you just want, these are really good for traveling as well, so I don't have to bring my big old ABH bronzer. I can just bring that small guy and work with that. Alright, next I picked up the Fasali Fis Skin Silk Blur. I got the mini ones again, and this was $22. Looks like this. I'm really, really excited to try these out. I'm really, really excited. I've saw a lot of, lot of reviews on these online, so I'm not going to open it yet because I have quite a few primers that I need to use, so I'm not going to open this guy yet. Alright, I just picked up, another, I picked up another Better Than Sex mascara, the full size, it was $24 because this is the only mascara that I use. For like two years lately, like for two years, I have been dedicated to just that mascara alone. But I'm thinking about buying the mini size for when I travel or like I said, do my friend's makeup. I might also, ooh, it's opened. It is open. I filmed a video with it. Um, 
I also picked up the Better Than Sex uh, eyeliner. And this was $21. There's a video on my channel right now, so go check it out if you're wondering about this. And I'm sorry, this is in the shade Deepest Black. Then I picked up this MAC Dazzling Brilliant Dazzle Glass. And this is in the shade Dress to Dazzle. Let me open it for you. So it looks like this. I have used this once or twice, a few times. It's just like this really pretty glitter gloss. It's like a muted purple it's lavender. I really like this color. I really like this. It kind of has gold specks in the light, which I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. You probably can't see the gold specks in the light, but they're really pretty. But this was $17.50. I picked these up at Ulta. Well, this one up at Ulta. And then also I picked up a Mario Badescu. Uh, face primer at Ulta as well for $5. I get the mini ones because they fit perfectly for storage. Next, from Sephora, I picked up this Tatcha Pore, Pore, Pore Perfecting Moisturizing Cleanser and Pore Perfecting Hydrant. So it's just this little duo. This was $25. It's like a facial cleaner and no cream water. There's a lot of mixed reviews on it, so I'm kind of nervous on trying it. It said it's very hard on skin, so I'm guessing I would probably only use this. I'm guessing I would only use this like once a week. People said it's really hard to, I looked up online, the reviews. They said it's really hard to remove makeup, which I usually use a makeup remover and then a facial cleanser, cleanser anyway. Because I personally feel like I get the best result that way. But yeah, I figured I can't go wrong because it, it came together and it was 25 bucks. And as long as I don't open it, it'll last for a really long time. So I'm not going to open this guy yet until I use up a lot of my other face, my other skincare. I'm not going to say face stuff, skincare. What I'm really, really, really excited for was this palette. It's the Makeup Forever Let's Gold palette. And I got this because Tati recommended it. Um, that is pretty much the only reason why I got it. And because I thought it was so pretty and Ulta didn't have it. And at first I was like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. But I went to this really cool Sephora where it was like, it was like, a, like it was like outside. Like most Sephora's, I don't know about you guys, but most Sephora's I go to are usually inside of a mall. And this wasn't, it was its own standalone store. And so, it just got me more happy. Okay. This was 45 dollars. So let's go. It comes with a little eye thing. Do a little eye thing. We'll get into this more later. And then it looks like this. And she's, the packaging is gorgeous. And this is honestly more of a everyday palette. And it says the top are like mattes. The second row are shimmers. And the bottom row are dual chrome colors. And I honestly think I can play with this a little bit more. But let's really try these masks. I've never owned any Makeup Forever makeup. And if this is really good, I might be on to something. These mattes, though, are looking really, really good on my skin tone. And they're right here. You can't really see them, but yeah. It's looking really, really good. So I'm really excited about this palette. I'm definitely going to play and slay with this palette. This might be my new everyday palette. 
for the summer. I don't get into the habit of not opening products because if I open them, then I have to use them. But I know I'm going to be reaching for this, so I don't mind opening this. But yeah, this was $45 if I didn't say before. Um, okay, I just got a few more goodies. Just a few. Um, next, I picked up this Lorac Unzipped Sheer Silk Lip Gloss. It looks like this guy. I only got one, and it was in the shade Unfazed. And this was $18. This was actually $0.50 cents more than the MAC Dazzle Gloss. Um, this does have, I tried this, I swatched this and tried this on my mouth. This does, uh, have like limp plumpy, lip plumping stuff and it gives you a mental, a minty cool sensation. So if you don't like that, I don't recommend this. I really don't like that sensation, but so it's not as, it goes away, so yeah, but I think it's still a really cute color, so I had to get it. Okay, next I picked up this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Filter um, Loose Powder in the shade Honey. And I picked up the Mini because I already have the Laura Mercier in the Mini. And I've had her for a couple of months. And she's still pretty full. Um, yeah, she's still pretty full. And so I figure this one's a bit lighter. And I, I wanted to get something a bit lighter because I feel like if I use this, it can make me um, highlight it a little bit more. But yeah, they come like this. And the mini ones only come in four colors. They only come in four colors. But I really felt like this would be a really good color for me to set my under eyes with. I want more of like a yellowy... um. Because I have golden undertones, so I want something more of a goldeny undertone and a lower Mercier. It's really good. It's really good. But it doesn't have that goldenly undertone. So I'm hoping that if I use this under my eyes, it'll give me what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah. And this was... I want to say between 18 and 25 dollars like i said if i cannot remember everything i would definitely write it down link it down below because i cannot remember and i don't have the receipt physically in front of me right now but i'm really excited about this honey yeah i'm excited about that because this powder might change up my whole um baking and like i might look way more highlighted underneath so i really hope i do uh, i have two more things to show you guys i believe yes I picked up the Tatcha Silk Canvas, the mini one, because I wanted to try it to see if it's better than my Tarte Shape Tape Pour, Pour, Pour and Prime Balm, because that one's $25. This one's $22. This is a little sample. I'm not going to open it yet because I'm not sure, but it looks like this. You guys have all seen it before, but I didn't want to go out and spend the actual money, so I wanted to test it out. And if I don't like it, it's just a little bit of product, so... But I'm really excited about this. Looking for something really poor filling. So hopefully this is right up my alley. And then last but not least, I picked up the Hydro Grip Primer. And this is by Milk Makeup. And this is also the sample size. So this was like, I think this was like 11 or $18 between those two numbers. And I got another primer. Yes. So this, I picked up three different primers <laughs> and this is the mini version it looks like this I'm really excited to try this out it says it's good for keeping on foundation and I usually don't go for hydrating primers I usually go for primers that uh fill certain areas so I'm hoping that this works out but everyone on YouTube says how great it is and plus they had minis at that Sephora so I was like you can't go wrong with trying the minis and plus I still have my go-to faves really itchy right now is that everything look around real quick yeah that is everything all right you guys so that is everything my hands are messy okay sorry but that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was more of like a 
this is like a splurge and like it's, this is really me trying new products the only thing that I've ever owned before and this whole thing is this everything else is a bunch of new products that I'm super 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 excited for trying because I feel like I've been getting a lot of eyeshadow palettes and now I want to get into primers and bronzers and yeah but so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye